Hey guys, welcome back to the Homies channel. I'm Ellie and today I will watch Breaking Bad Season 3, Episode 12, Half Measures. Full reaction you can find in the links down below in Patreon. Also in the links below you can find my Instagram. Also in the links below you can find uh, my work as a photographer. This is only for fans. You can check Maggie's uh, account in the links below. Uh, also, you can become a member here and you will get early access to the videos. So, yeah, let's go. <laughs> She's so... Oh. Oh, poor Windy. She looks so, so miserable. Are my feet okay? I looked it up. New Mexico says all I need is a note from a doctor. I, I know it's not the right way and all, but. Once I get my provisional, I can keep working at it. Money laundering on Wikipedia, really, Skylar? This is so weird. They're tracking that search. You shouldn't do that. Now, where do you want me to start? Hey, I don't love this situation, all right, that you put me in. Well, actually, you wanted to be involved. Right, let's just stick with what makes sense here. If, God forbid, I get caught... You maintain plausible deniability. Okay, my estranged husband, who, when he was working, made $43,000 a year, starts shoveling money at me, and when the police come, I'm supposed to say, gee, I um, never thought about it, officers. Made sense to me, really? <laughs> that, in your mind, is plausible deniability? Why would your estranged husband be doing all this for you? Because he loves his family. Mm -hmm. and desperately wants a reconciliation though it may be hopeless and futile uh yeah 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 it sounds legit to me anything. no I, I think it would be better if the husband were no longer estranged mm. you know maybe if he were back sleeping in his own bed wow it's suddenly a fantasy story mm. bitch and i want my own key to the house for emergencies and appearances. Yes, I am going to babysit my own daughter. I'm going to help my son with his homework. I am going to be a part of this family. And that is how we'll sell your little fiction. Mm. What the hell are you doing? It's ours, right? Look at it and tell me if that's ours. I bought it from the two guys who killed Combo. They had combo shot down in the streets, and now it's our product they're selling. Which means they work for our guy. This kid, he's 11 years old. Shot combo on orders. These two scumbags, they got him dealing. They got him. And you know he's not the first. They use kids because, hey, why not? These guys killed Combo. They used this little kid like some puppet. They used him to shoot my friend. They gotta go. Right, I got the entire thing figured out. No. The delivery method, everything. All I need from you is the poison. That's all. No. How about back when it was your plan? when we were going to use it on Tuco. Apples and oranges. Guy eats rice and two or three days later he gets the flu or a heart attack or something and he kneels over. That's what you said. Untraceable back to us. To, to me. Not even that other scumbag we work for is ever going to figure it out. Yo, it was a good plan back when it was Tuco and it's a good plan now. They use kids. What's to find out? Unforgivable. It's a dispute over turf, right? I mean, how hard could it have been for you to track them down on their turf and kill them months ago? Because back then, you were too busy getting high, feeling 
I'm sorry. Well, you killed her his girlfriend. Kind of. I'm doing it. With or without you. So people in wheelchairs should be in hospitals? What about people on crutches? Maybe I should be in here too. Well, he has the point. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. I'll tell you, little prick. You really think he's serious? That's why I'm here, so... The way he was talking, he is going to do it. Or try, at least. Okay, so what? We pay him off. No, no, it's not about money. It's about getting him off the streets. Getting him to calm down. Could you get him arrested? <laughs> you, you want your criminal associate taken into police custody? No, no, listen, I know it. I know it sounds risky, but it wouldn't be anything that would get him into real trouble and nothing that could lead back to our business. Just some minor offense. So, so it, it's possible, right? Well, well, it falls under my premium services package, but you can afford that. I'll call my <laughs> guy. Never talk to anyone, right? I mean, oh, poor ever. Wendy. Understand? They're using her. Like in all possible ways. What's his name? Patrick. I imagine these two guys had Patrick working as a mule, making him kill people. Why don't you do anything to protect your kid? Of course I would. I'd do all kinds of things for him. These she guys kid. using kids like that. They gotta go. Right? Well, I'm not gonna do it. Why? Because it's moronic. <laughs> Saul said you've done things like this before. That's not the moronic part. Okay, so what's the problem? The problem is the boss wouldn't like it. My boss. Who is your boss? Your boss. The God? This is a professional courtesy. No one knows I'm here, understand? But our employer would find out, like always. Ah. Uh. And if Pinkman were arrested, he'd take it as a problem. I used to be a beat cop a long time ago. And I get called out on domestic disputes all the time, hundreds probably over the years. But there was this one guy, this one piece of shit that I will never forget. Gordy. He looked like Bo Svensson. You remember him? Walking tall, you don't remember? And one night, my partner's out sick, and it's just me. And the call comes in, and it's the usual crap. Broke her nose in the shower kind of thing. So I cuff him, put him in the car, and away we go. And this sideways asshole is in my back seat humming Danny Boy. <laughs> and it just rubbed me wrong. And I kneel him down, and I put my revolver in his mouth. And I told him, this is it. This is how it ends. And after a few minutes, I took the gun out of his mouth. And I say, so help me if you ever touch her again. I will such and such and such and such and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Just trying to do the right thing. But two weeks later, he killed her. Of course. The moral of the story is, I chose a half measure when I should have gone all the way. I'll never make that mistake again. No more half measures, Walter. Hmm. <laughs> can I have another bump? Look, you had your bump. All right, we get this thing done, then you can have all you want. But oh. I need you to come with me. Take a walk. Oh. <laughs> Even I feel uncomfortable. <sighs> this will go no further. It will be settled right here, right now. 
Outra, deixa eu dar uma Já. It's not okay using kids. Then Jesse is right. He's the only normal people doing a lot of stupid things, of course. But no more children. Understand? And you. It's really cute how It's really cute how Jesse defends the kids and all the time like try to protect everyone with the kids. It's super cute. Pieces of shit are these two. As hoes. Sometimes compromises have to be made. For the best of reasons. Jesse, Jesse. Hey, 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 what, 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 what are you doing? Say <laughs> what? What are you What I say? If it's working. My best here, Murray. Right? Is it working? Oh, see. Besides, what if someone comes in? This is completely anti-sexy uh, environment. I tell you what, if I can get the groundhog to see his shadow, it's not gonna happen. I'm sorry. I'm betting it will. And if he does, you check out of here. Uh, you know what? If it'll get you out of here quicker, you got one minute. One minute? <laughs> All right, that's a cakewalk. Yeah, this is just, <laughs> just sad. I mean, it's, I feel sorry for you, Mary. You know. Marie, give up. I mean, seriously, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Slow down. Slow down, I can't. What? Oh god. What? What? Oh god. Did something happen to a kid? To her kid? Did something happen to her kid? What happened? What happened? Here he is. Those pieces of shit. Those pieces of shit will burn in hell. You're not waiting for an apology because I did not rat you out. I was looking out for your best interests as well as my own, and I stand by my decision. No, you're not because they killed him. Agree to disagree. But sources indicate that 11-year-old Tomas Cantillo may have been the victim of a gang-related execution. An anonymous tip brought police to a playground in the 4700 block of 8th Avenue late last night. And yet another casualty in what appears to be the city's ongoing struggle against well, drugs and the gangs that peddle them. We'll be passing along details. Yeah, happy no. You made that. You made that. Because you're a piece of shit and never think about anybody else. Did 
you know your dad and I are thinking about maybe starting a business together? Seriously? What kind of business? What's um, realizing the big mistake you've made? He had the whole plan well prepared with the burgers. Nobody will ever talk, think about uh, them. But no, Walter needs to be honest with the fucking... No. No. The hell? I cannot watch. Fuck, I cannot watch. My <laughs> run. Oh, my God, that was so awesome. Oh, my God, that was so awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I cannot believe. That happened so fast that I couldn't even like kind of realize what exactly was going on. <laughs> well, yeah, that was nice. That was nice. That was nice. Nice, 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 nice. I really love how where this uh, TV show is going because uh, like there are some things that made me like kind of desperate about it. Like for example, Walter saying to um, El Pollo Germano. Uh, about Jesse, that was completely stupid. But then oh, it was not even in the next episode, it was in the same episode. Uh, like he made a mistake, he realized he made a mistake and he fixed that <laughs> by taking the all the responsibilities for, uh, which are going with the action of killing these two. So that was really awesome. A really awesome offer on the part of Walt. And I really love it. And he's finally, finally, I guess, in the team with Jesse that he should be since the beginning because this is unforgivable. You cannot use Kit and kill the Kit. Like, I mean, this, I don't know. That was so terrible that these people do. And I, I, I think that they deserve to die in even in more brutal way, maybe. But definitely, and what? what? What is good one again? Uh, yeah. So really, I really enjoyed that part. Really, solely for the kid, of course, and for his mother. Like, I don't know. Uh, what else happened in that episode? I don't know. I mean, when something that big happens in the end, it's kind of like forgetting the first before. So thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye.